I have here a Samsung Plasma power supply board that was sent in for repair. And unfortunately during the shipping, a corner was broken off. So I'm gonna pass this board on to my tech one to repair the physical damage. Once we've completed the repairs on the physical damage, then we'll be able to do the diagnostic and identify the actual faults with the power supply. So let's get started. All right, we're gonna repair these traces. Damage doesn't look to be too bad, but there's, there's gonna be a good amount of scratching that we need to do to these traces here. And I believe we're gonna to have to rebuild this jumper on the other side. So it looks like it got completely torn out of there. Also looks like there's a, another part on this side right here that is damaged too. We're gonna to use our scratch pen, except it's, uh, it's motorized. Let's clean off the board, make sure we have enough exposed copper. I think for the final touches, we'll use the fiberglass scratch pen. Yeah, that's, that's cleaning quite well. I'm gonna begin by adding some flux. Then what I'll do is I'll pre-tin all of these pads with some solder. So we're gonna wanna make sure this is in here nice and snug. For more strength across these traces, I'm gonna use capacitor legs. That ought to really strengthen up that joint. Add a little bit more solder to it. Just float that right across. Excellent. So we'll do the same over here. And as you can tell for this particular trace, I'm just gonna loop around it since it already has that ring for the solder joint. Just flood it with solder just like that. Trim off the excess here. And the same over here. All right, and from what I can tell, it looks like all the damage has been taken care of. I'll go over these one more time, just to make sure it's secure. Ah, uh, yeah, that looks a whole lot better. So we're gonna need to scratch this side up, just like we did the previous side. Uh, it looks like it really would only be for visual because I don't think there's anything Go with our fiberglass pen for the final touches. Go ahead and clean this off. Add some flux. Give this a little bit of solder. So right now you might think this is good enough, but it's not. Yeah, we probably could afford to clean this off just a little bit more. We'll just reflow this just to make sure everything's nice and secure over here. All right, so that corner is secure. And this is how it looks on the top. Same thing for this other side. It's looking a lot better than what it was previously. We still need to take care of this jumper over here. All right, so as you can tell, that's how it's looking. Now that's of course the same as this guy on the bottom. It goes to the same spot. It's just a test point, pretty much. All right, we're soldering for the top side, this piece here, this jumper. We're placing a new jumper for the top part. It doesn't, the board does not need an additional jumper, but I am doing it anyway, just because there was one at the top. Yeah, 
And here's how the top side looks. We'll now clean this up and then we'll apply some new coating or solder mask oil, as this thing says. We'll do the same over here on this side. And now we're gonna use our UV light to cure the coating. And this of course just sits here for about 10, 20 seconds and then it'll turn off. We'll probably run this process twice. Let's go ahead and see how this thing cured. Yeah, it's set up quite well. Probably could use one more round. Yeah, it's much better. All right, now for this side. And so for the final piece of the puzzle, we're gonna apply some super glue to strengthen the bond between the two cracked parts of this board. And we'll do the same to this side over here. And now we can start the initial diagnostic. Now that Juan has finished repairing the physical damage on the board, we're able to do our diagnostic. So the first thing is checking the fuse. So let's check both of them on the board. This one's zero ohms, which is a short. And this one is also zero ohms. The second thing I wanna check is our transistors. The transistors we wanna look at are these two over here, and then there's two more in the center of the board on that heat sink here. 0 0.5 mega ohms. Let's check the other pin. Also 0 0.5 mega ohms. And on this one over here, similar reading. We're getting 12.9 mega ohms. Let's check the other one. And also 13 mega ohms. So one thing I am noticing here is that the customer has actually already worked on this board. And we can tell also because we have new silicone here. The original silicone is rock hard. This one is very soft and it also looks a different color so that's one of the tells that this is not factory. Looking at the first transistor, we can tell that the solder is actually looking pretty good. We have a decent flow on all three joints. However, when we take a look at the other transistor that was not replaced, we can see there is some heavily cracked joints here. Um, the pin is actually completely loose and not making contact with the board. Uh, this one I think is still making a little contact, but this one is just 100% loose. So that most likely is the issue that the customer was experiencing with the board. So we're gonna wanna touch that up. And all we're gonna do is reflow it by adding some fresh leaded solder. Just gonna add a little bit of flux because I am actually having a little hard time with it flowing and my iron was turned down to the wrong temperature. So let's try that again. And that looks a lot better. Now, just to be safe, we're actually gonna reflow this one as well. Final testing, we're gonna want to live test with voltages. So I'm gonna be shorting out our PS on to ground pins and our VS on to our five volt standby. So let's plug it in. No pop, that's good. And let's take a look at our VS and VA voltages. So this is our VA and we're getting 63.2 volts, which is what we're expecting. And our VS, 213 volts, which is also what we are expecting. All right, so that concludes it. It looks like we have a fully functional power supply. Uh, most of the damage was really physical. We didn't really have to do much to, to repair it, just those uh, cracked solder joints. Uh, but if you liked the video, if you enjoyed the content, leave us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.